will the cut off increase or is it going to remain the same or will it decrease please give us the confirmation at this point of time it means now this is the do or die situation and five questions have been eliminated we say in that particular case now you will have to solve those questions okay those questions in just this amount of time okay so make sure i would request you one thing you keep your target score high in all these years so this year also we are expecting the same thing but but you don't have to be worried let me just tell you cut off is going to decrease that is for sure Sure. There was a category of students in the NEET 2024 who got 640, 635, 636, 642, something like that, but they still couldn't enter the medical college. And they are worried at this point of time, sir, what is going to happen with the cutoff? I received a lot of calls from this category of students asking me, sir, will the cutoff increase or is it going to remain the same or will it decrease? Please give us the confirmation at this point of time. I have some strong proofs in front of me. On the basis of that, I'll be telling you what is going to happen with the cutoff in the NEET 2025 and what you should keep your target score and what will what is the expectation, what we should expect uh, in the NEET 2025, okay? That's the first thing that I want to tell you over here is, you might have recently seen that, what was the main reason behind the increase in the cutoff in the NEET 2024? There were many reasons. That is not going to happen in the 2025, that is for sure, okay? And second point, before 2024, like at the time of COVID, we say before COVID itself, we say the time that was given to the aspirants to solve the need paper, it was three hours. But at the time of COVID, they increased the time, made it three hours and 20 minutes. Okay. The first thing is, what if they remove this 20 minutes and what is going to happen with this? Second, we say at that point of time in the COVID, they gave the section B. Okay, and in the section B, you are having the choice, like you are having the 10 questions. And out of those 10 questions, you are supposed to solve only five. Now, what if they remove this choice? What is going to happen with the cutoff? I will be telling you in front of this, okay? And, and second thing, they have uh, already done it in the JE mains paper. And what if they do? There are high chances that, because I have spoken to a lot of educators out there, there are high chances that they'll be removing this choice and if they remove the choice, what is going to happen with the cutoff? That's what we are going to explain in this particular video. Make sure, my dear friends, you share it with all of your friends out there, okay? Smash the like button as soon as possible so that you, it can reach out to those aspirants who are worried at this point of time, okay? You don't have to be worried. Let me just tell you, cutoff is going to decrease. That is for sure, okay? And because previously, we educators, when we said, Back in 2024, we said cutoff will increase this year and it increased because we have the experience. We know how this game actually revolves, how this, this scenario revolves, okay? So I'll be telling you each and every single thing. Make sure you follow over here. Now, my dear friends, the first thing over here is time allocation. When it comes to the time all allocation, we say time will be reduced. That is for sure. Okay. So previously you are getting 320, 3 hour and 20 minutes, but we are expecting that from 2025 onwards, it will be, it will be what? Three hours only okay so keep that thing in your mind now you will have to solve those questions okay those questions in just this amount of time okay so that is for sure if the student is efficient okay only that student would be able to solve so definitely this will this will this gives us the indication that in the upcoming time the cutoff is going to decrease not that much indication but the main indication that we are getting over is is we say in this one in this one Guys, see, when it comes to the choice in the section B, let's suppose if we remove the choice in the section B, previously what used to happen is that there are a lot of students, okay? You are given the choice out of 10 questions you are supposed to so solo, five only. Now we say maximum number of students, there are some students who are able to solo seven. There are some students who are able to solo six, eight, okay? And if not eight, seven, six, Five questions we have seen maximum number of students were able to solve means they were getting full marks in the section B. Now what if they remove this choice you are supposed to out of 10 questions uh, now you are supposed you are you will be given five questions and you are supposed to solve these five questions only. So means now this is the do or die situation you will have to and five questions have been eliminated we say in that particular case. Now we say there is a maximum probability that in this case, there are a lot of students who would be able to solve only three, only two, because now you don't have the choice. If I'm giving the 10 questions, maximum probability is that you can solve five, you can solve six, okay? 
and when it comes to five okay, if i'm giving you five so we say the maximum probability is you will be able to solve five you will be able to solve six okay sorry uh four three okay so i say in that particular case this becomes the do or die situation so so if you are able to solve we say only two questions with this maximum probability then i can say there is the chance that eight to ten marks will be reduced over there if there is a decrease of eight to ten marks so this will directly reflect in what cutoff so definitely this gives us the indication that the cutoff is going to decrease according to this logic over here if they do so if they do so and when it comes to the difficulty level, we said difficulty level is going to remain the same. That is for sure. Because if you check in the 2024, 2023, 2022, you see the paper is, the paper was moderate. The difficulty level of the paper was moderate, okay, in all these years. So this year also we are expecting the same thing. But, but there will be some questions which will be deep conceptual understanding questions, okay. So, so you should have your concepts very strong in order to solve those questions also they will be basically coming up with the mixture of two three concepts and will make a question and will give to you and then you will have to solve only those students would be able to solve will have the strong conceptual understanding so that is what i would like to add over here in this particular case okay and what is the expectation that we are uh uh, what 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 are we expecting for the NEET 2025? The first thing is difficulty level will be moderate. That will remain the same. And when it comes to the cutoff, my dear friends, it will be around 620 to 640. Okay, not like this year, 660, 655. No, so it is going to remain, we say, uh, between 620 to 640. So to all those candidates who were getting 635 previously, 640 previously, they don't have to worry. But make sure, I would request you one thing, you keep your target score high. Because if you keep your target score 660 plus, then there is a high probability, there are high chances that you will be basically going to enter the medical college that is for sure okay if you are expect if you have the target score 660 plus 640 you'll be getting easily and we are expecting that time will be for three hours so these are the changes that we are expecting in the 2025 high highly expected changes okay so that is all i wanted to basically share in this particular video and this is the notice that was recently released for the J mains, okay, in which they removed that choice in the section B. So that's why if they can do in this particular examination, they can do to the NEET also, okay. So thank you so much. This was all about it, my dear friends. If you if you have not liked this session yet, I would want you guys to smash the like button as soon as possible. And one more thing I just want to tell you over here. Recently, there was the Unacademy's event that is Utsav 2024, okay. And, and when it comes to the NEET UG subscription for complete one year, you'll be having the 55% off. So if you want to take the subscription and Academy's NEET subscription for complete one year, you want to learn in any batch, you will have to take the subscription. And right now there is 55% off in this one. And you can use my code. You can use my code. And that is, I'll just write over here. That is Y Y A W a r you can use this code to avail the maximum discount that is 55 percent right now at this point of time my dear friends okay and one more thing i just want to show you over here this is this is we say need 2025 batch by team avengers okay so these are the teachers that you have exactly over here that you have exactly over here okay and next next my dear friends need 2026 batch okay this is nimbus pro reloaded over here these are the educators who will be teaching you in this batch also so you can be uh, you you will be having the access to all the batches whatever is running inside the academy if you want to take the subscription take it right away so thank you so much take care and bye bye see you guys very soon